Welcome back to the next video in this YouTube series that is focused on the build of Gymshark's first ever store here on Regent Street. Oh, see, look at this. Now we're cooking. This is so different. It's completely changed. Wow. Oh, wow. That'll be stunning. This is really going to change the game here on Regent Street. The store is going to be completely different to anything that I've ever seen before. I've just seen some early designs and I promise you it will blow your mind. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we will talk to you about how you can come and work here at this store. What the hell's that? Like, what is that? Is that the slice of videography? So here we are back in the store and we'll give you a little bit of a wander around. Now it is completely changed. It does look very messy at the moment so bear with us well, i think in one of our previous videos we spoke a little bit about the fact that we want to keep as much as possible now we're still doing that however as you can see even with our like best efforts there's still a lot of stuff that we will be going so what we're doing is we're working with globe chain and what they do is they essentially work as a platform which allows us to put things like this up which is still a great item even though that we we're not going to use it and we don't want it and they can come in and they can pick it up for example this has gone to royal trinity hospice in fact all of this stuff's going to royal trinity hospice and so far we've already given away about 350 different items from the store so even though even the things that are being stripped out we're doing our absolute utmost to make sure that nothing goes to waste whatsoever so as we walk around you'll be able to see that there is a lot going on i'm not sure i can show you these just yet but we do actually have some really cool imagery and graphics as to what it will look like at the end we're two weeks in and this is basically a four week period where we basically just strip out as much as we possibly can get this place back to a blank canvas and then we can start to build the Gymshark store within it. You'll see there's a lot of progress through here and I don't think this will quite come through on camera but because all of the ceiling has been pulled out you can see just how high the ceilings are in here. It is absolutely stunning so out of here pretty much everything has gone. There's a few stood walls here that need to go. These walls down here will go as well which will expose the windows and you'll be able to look straight onto Regent Street. But now we're pulling out all of the stood walls. You really get a feel for just how big the space is. It is massive and I think it's made to feel even bigger because of how high the ceilings are. Do you think that really surprised me, because this, this is a listed building on one of the most iconic streets in Europe, that even though you've got this sort of very old classic looking exterior, on the inside, it is very modern in a way, in terms of like the way that we've got these concrete floors, all the beams coming across here, and it is just a very vast and open space, which is great for us, by the way, because it gives us great flexibility with what we can do. If we head upstairs, there's quite a lot of changes actually that will happen out here. So one of the things that we didn't actually like about this was to get upstairs it feels quite closed it feels quite enclosed right the, almost like the gateway upstairs it's quite narrow so this area here we're actually going to be widening it slightly and it'll one give you when you do come into this corner entrance here it will give you an immediate view sort of it'll look incredibly impressive and you'll have that view upstairs as well and i think it should hopefully make people more likely to come and explore the entirety of the store particularly upstairs as well so coming upstairs progress continues so these areas here will be we're going to have like lots of different places up here. We have retail space where obviously you can come and buy and check out Gymshark product, try it on. But we'll also have different community areas. So here we're actually going to have a, quite a flexible space. It's going to be closed off. We could record podcasts in here. We could be doing meetings. We could be bringing in different athletes. We could be doing sort of small fan based events. It's a totally flexible space and that's something that's really important to us here at Gymshark. Actually, when we, when we move into GSHQ, I don't think I referenced this online, we very much had our plans and we were very sort of quite rigid in terms of what we thought we wanted. I think it was only after about three weeks or so, we ended up changing quite a lot of GSHQ. So we learned from that lesson in terms of what we've done with our offices here to make sure that we do have that flexibility because we've never opened a store or at least a permanent store up before. Gymshark is at home on social media and in more of our short term events. So this is a real learning curve for us. And it's something that I'm really excited about because I think if you're not trying new things, then you know, your business isn't going to be growing and you're not going to be you know, pushing, the, uh, pushing the envelope. So that's important to me. But equally, we have to be realistic. We have never done this before. It's going to be a huge learning curve and that's why we want flexibility through the store. As you can see, we've still got all of the, uh, the walling in here, but all of this will come out. If you come behind here, you will see 
these beautiful windows that look out onto Regent Street. So all of this natural light will flood through into the upstairs as well, whereas right now it's quite artificially lit. Within two or so weeks, we should have this place completely back to bare bones and then it'll be ready to be built on. I am also very, very excited to mention that we have 120 staff that we are recruiting to work into this store, split into three main roles. We've got team leads, team members, and pros. The team leads will be helping to lead the people that work in the store on a day-to-day -day basis and helping to really inspire those every single day with what they're doing here. We'll also have the team members, which will be helping to actually run the store. We'll be working in the stock room, moving stock around, and basically making sure that this place runs as well as it possibly can be. And then we'll have the pros, who are like our in-house team of PTs, of experts that truly understand both the Gymshark brand, the community, but also fitness inside out too. We want the most flexible space possible on the most iconic street in London. And not only do we want a community space and a retail space, but we also want a place where, you know, you can work on your fitness goals and that's really, really important. Here we have a studio space and we will be running around 50 classes a week to the Gymshark community. So what is it like working at Gymshark? Well, first and foremost, if you are looking for a brand that has a long history of in real life retail experience, then you are coming to the wrong place. This is gonna be a very, very entrepreneurial place. We need people that can truly solve problems on the go. Now, I'm sure you'll be aware, transparency is super, super important to us at Gymshark, and that's why a lot of these videos, we bring as many people in on the journey as physically possible. One, because hopefully it helps involve the community in this journey that we're all having, but two, hopefully we can inspire others to do the same as well. So transparency is incredibly important. And I think if you were to join Gymshark as well, that transparency continues throughout internally. So you'll have lots of visibility on the wider Gymshark business, our overarching goals. I mean, you'll have people like myself who will come into the store regularly as well. And that's really, really important to me because like I said, this is brand new for us. This is a, an incredibly exciting journey. And it is something that I am really, really excited about. Diversity and inclusion is something that is incredibly, incredibly important to Gymshark globally. Now, what we're gonna be doing here is one, we're gonna be making sure that this store is as accessible as we can possibly make it. And that goes all the way through from the actual build. But then when we're doing virtual tours around the, around the store as well, we're gonna be referencing the points of access for maybe people that are in a wheelchair, but we're also gonna be doing the tour at both eye level, but also seated level as well. As well as that, in terms of the local area, we understand that in London, digital poverty is a thing. As a result of that, we're gonna be working with lots of the local London boroughs to try and allow everyone the opportunity to apply for roles here. And then when you are here at Gymshark, belonging is a word that we use all the time because we wanna make sure that every single individual, no matter who you are, where you're from, whatever your background is, you can become the best version of yourself possible and you truly feel like you belong in this business and as part of this community. We actually keep getting asked, will you open more stores? And to be honest, before we've opened this store, the answer is, I'm not sure. However, I would absolutely love to open more stores, but what we need to do is we need to concentrate on this store, make it perfect, make it right, and make it work really, really well. And then if we can make it work really well, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't open more stores. So if there's anywhere that you would like to see us open a Gymshot store, add it to the comments down below and we'll take a look. Here we go. Oh, so this is the basement. So nothing's changed here. I don't think they've gotten to this point yet, but going that way, you've got Lou's and office space. Going this way, you've got all the storage space. I know we, if we come down here, we will have some flexible working space over here. This is where I'll be. Tapping away. Can someone apply from the US? Yes, they can apply from the US if you have the right to work in the UK. Can students be part of the team? Absolutely, yes, we will be hiring people on flexible hours. So if you're a student, then go ahead and apply. Can someone in a wheelchair apply? Absolutely, this place is fully accessible to those in a wheelchair, so yes, we would love it if you were to apply. Yes, we are looking for people who can speak multiple languages, and we are also looking for people who practice British Sign Language as well. See, there is a lot of work left to do here, right? We, we're just in the stage where we're starting to really strip this place out, but we are hoping that we will be open by the end of summer this year. So what does the perfect member of the Gymshark team look like? Well, complete and utter values alignment, that's really, really important to us. We want someone who can really think creatively, understands that they are joining a very entrepreneurial business, who enjoy being part of a team. Listen, ideally, if you've got customer facing experience whether it be in retail or in any other customer facing role that would be absolutely great but i think an appreciation of fitness particularly physical and mental fitness 
and then if you can do your best to understand the brand, the story of the brand, and our overarching goals and ambitions, I think that would be amazing too. So if you do want to apply to work here, then if you hit the uh, link in the description below, it'll take you through to the Gymshark Careers Hub, and you just follow the process through. I keep talking about the fact that this is, well, this needs to be a community hub. Gymshark is a community brand, and this store was built because of the success that we had at expos, at the events, and at the stores that we've done. Now, this is gonna be a community hub, and as I've said, we're gonna hold regular events, regular classes that are open to the community. So there's gonna be a lot going on all the time. It's not purely gonna be a static store. Like I said, there'll be a lot of special things going on. So can't talk about it too much yet, but when it opens, I promise you, you are gonna love it. If there's anything that you do wanna see, then please let us know now so we can plan it in and comment down below. As you can see, there is a lot of work to get to do here. We are completely stripping this place out and we are gonna do everything we can to build the most special fitness community hub here at the Gymshark flagship store on one of the most iconic streets in London. So excited to see where this project goes and I'm even more excited to bring you along with me.